My background really is in institutional real estate. I've spent my professional career working with, uh, as you refer to them, the big guys, um, the pension fund investors. Uh, I've worked uh, previously with BlackRock, and I found uh, being on the inside of a giant organization to be a little bit too stifling. I, I spent some time overseas to think about it, and then came back and worked and with a company called Northbrook, which we grew from a, a, a handful of people and one ten million dollar asset to a little over a billion dollars of multifamily, and all here in New York, uh, mostly Midtown. Unfortunately, uh, we didn't survive the uh, the financial meltdown for for a lot of reasons that that unfortunately uh, I wish we could claim credit for, but we can't. We were really collateral damage to other things happening in other places that we had nothing to do with, but uh, there, there you are. Um, I think what I bring here uh, to the table is a, a slightly different perspective, having worked on the, the bigger deals for the bigger players. I know how they look at things and how they see things, and I agree um, with Eli and with what other folks have said, that, that the space that you're targeting is, is definitely going to be ignored by some of the bigger players. There's a, there's a lot of capital, of probably trillions of dollars of capital that says they want to be invested in New York real estate. They don't really want to do a deal under 50 million. It's just too small for them. Uh, they've got high costs with their counsel and their due diligence, things that they think they have to do, and, and so I think it presents an opportunity. Um, the other thing I probably bring here is a, is a unique uh, perspective on multifamily, on, on, on how to not just evaluate acquisitions, but in the actual operation uh, of those assets. The company that I was with, uh, Northbrook, was a vertically integrated investor operator. So we did 100% of all of the management, construction management, asset management, everything in house, uh, nuts and bolts, stuff that you don't want to know about, I don't want to know about, <laughs> um, you know, managing, managing the union staff and, and the contractors, it's, it's, it's a very nitty gritty, hands on, detail oriented business that the, uh, the, the large asset managers like BlackRock frankly can't handle and uh, to the extent that they're in the space, uh, they've, uh, they've learned in the last couple of years um, to be more cautious and what they take on because they're starting to learn their own limitations. Uh, so following Northbrook, what else I'm involved with now? Um, I've started another firm with my, my partner from Northbrook uh, to do a lot of the same thing, to be a partner with institutional players, big money players, but uh, we're going to pursue more of a nimble strategy where we do a lot more outsourcing. We're not interested in building another property management company. It's a it's a tough that's a tough business. It's a it's a no margin business and it's a thankless business. So we're gonna do our best to <laughs> let someone with a bigger uh, name brand really handle that that part of it and uh, really explore and exploit our um, I think our unique position in that we've gained the trust of the pension funds by working with them on their large deals, uh, but not having to actually uh, execute 100% of